Hey guys, I'm Hye Jin Yoon from Getting the here? Devrel team in April. I'm here to guide you through our doc site today. We'll dive into where to find the right information, highlight some useful tools in our doc site, and discuss how to contribute the docs. So when you go to our doc site, datahubproject.io slash docs, You'll notice that we have a few tabs on the top right, docs integrations, community resources. Note that the community tab is not released yet. It's included in the upcoming change. And most of our, of our contents lies under the docs tab. So everything um, around the guides tutorial, our key features, API guides, release stories are here. And under integrations, this is a place where you can search um, our integration sources. So let's say you want to know if DataHub sur um, supports MongoDB as a integration source. You can just search its name here. And if you click the card, it will navigate you to the corresponding guide in our doc site. And um, you can also use the filters to search the data sources. You can search it by the connection type, the features, whether it supports column level lineage, um, staple ingestion, and also platform type, such as data store, BI tool, messaging. Um, yeah, so let's say you want to um, know which data sources supports push based ingestion, you can just um, click push here and hit search. And every data sources that supports push based ingestion will show up here. Yeah, and under community, um, under resources, um, this is a place that um, all the materials that will help you understand Data Hub will go. So you can visit our demo site, your our blog, our roadmap, our GitHub, etc. And under community, this is um going to release soon, but I'm going to do a sneak peek here. So you can um visit our Slack community through here, or you can see our hall of fame of our data champions so keep an eye for the update in our slack community yeah and let's get back to our docs so let's dive into the sidebar a little bit so on the top level we have getting started integrations deployment admin developers api and sdks and community so all the things from um, the getting started to deployment goes to the day one material. So let's say it's your first time with Data Hub, you want to understand uh, what the key features are, or you want to deploy it um, as a POC, you want to maybe quickly connect your data sources. Everything um, related to that is here. So for example, we have a key feature guide here and a basic guide on how to get started. We have a quick start guide that lets you deploy Data Hub within a few steps. And we also have some quick start guides on our um, some popular data sources, such as Redshift or Tableau or Snowflake. And we also have a deployment guide for um, a different platforms such as AWS, GCP, and Azure. Yeah. And all the things from admin to API and SDKs belongs to um, the day two material in my perspective. So let's say you already deployed Data Hub somewhere, um, whether it's, a, it's in your local machine or somewhere in the cloud, and you want to maybe invite some users um, maybe you want to customize the data instance, or you want to utilize one of our APIs, all the guys relate to that here. So we have our out guys, we have, um, guys to, um, guys on the local development of data hub and all the guys to related to our APIs, SDKs, um, GraphQL, CLI actions are here. And last but not least, we have, um, um, under community tab, we have all the community um, docs here, and also you can see the release history of our product as well. And now I'm going to um, introduce some useful tools in our doc site. 
So first you can see this little blue widget on the right bottom on every page. This is an AI bot for our doc site. So this will answer pre pretty much everything that is on our docs. Let's say you want to know how to enable column level image in BigQuery. So you can just um, type how to enable column level lineage on BigQuery and the bot will find the relevant page on our doc site and provide um, answer for you. Yeah, so you can see that the bot actually found some um, Yeah, found some related um, materials on the top side and provided an answer for you. And another thing is versioning. So you'll notice that we have a version selector on the top left, and you can select the version for the open source data hub. You can actually move across the versions to find the docs that corresponds to your version. Yeah. Last but not least, let's talk about how to contribute to our doc site. So there's no limit where and what you can contribute to our docs. If you spot a typo or you want to suggest a fix, or if you think some of the contents are missing, um, you can also contribute as well. And the fastest way to contribute is just to click, um, say, just to click this edit this page link on every bottom every on the bottom of every page and this will directly navigate you to the corresponding markdown file on our github repo so you can start there or you can um just clone our um clone our git repo and start from there as well or if you're not sure how to create a pr or handle the git repo you can post a message on our Slack community. Um, specifically, we have a channel called Code Contribute, um, where we talk about all the contribution stuff, and our team will gladly help you. Uh, so that was a quick guide on our doc site. Hope this was helpful. See ya.